let us discuss the modern concept of mod formation or you can say energetics of bond formation <clears throat> i am taking example of two simplest atoms with respect to their electronic configuration and these two simplest atoms are actually the hydrogen atoms having one electron each <clears throat> when they are present in isolated form means they are not bonded this electron is attracted by its nucleus and there is force of attraction here that force of attraction is present between nucleus and electron within the same atom but when these two atoms will approach each other what will happen now when they will approach each other some other forces will be observed these two electrons and these two nuclei they will repel each other but the nucleus of this atom will attract the electron of the other atom and the nucleus of this atom will attract the electron of the other atom so you can see that two repulsive forces and two attractive forces now they have developed between these two hydrogen atoms when they try to approach each other due to repulsive forces that i have shown with red potential energy increases in chemistry the potential energy is not due to position but it is due to the forces of attraction or repulsion and because of forces of attraction the potential energy will decrease but because both forces are balanced mean two attractive and two repulsive forces so there will be no change in the potential energy actually whenever we say that these atoms are bonded suppose they form a chemical bond it is not the potential energy which decreases but it is the kinetic energy which decreases and the excess of the kinetic energy is released during the bond formation now these two electrons their kinetic energy will be decreased and also the kinetic energy of two bonded atoms that will be decreased whenever there are two isolated atoms they are highly energetic energetic keep in mind that isolated atoms are more energetic than bonded atoms so they are, they are having high energy when they approach potential energy is balanced but the bond formation takes place because the bonded atoms now they have lesser kinetic energy and the excess of kinetic energy is released that's why we always say that bond formation is a exothermic process so bond formation is an exothermic process and you know whenever excess of the energy is released from a system that gets stable so when excess of energy will be released here these two hydrogen atoms they will also get stable when they were isolated they were at high energy level but the excess of energy is released now they are bonded they are at lower energy level so when they are at lower energy level they will be having high stability and this high stability is the reason of the bond formation now whether an atom obeys octet rule or an atom doesn't obey octet rule it makes no difference now 
Because in modern concept, the bond formation is just because it is an exothermic process. When the energy, excess energy is released from the atoms, they get stable. Now, whether an atom is for obeying the octet rule or not obeying the octet rule, it is not a matter of great interest. Because whether it obeys octet rule or whether it does not obey octet rule, in both cases, excess energy will be released and the stability will be gained. So nowadays, instead of calling the octet rule in our mind, we say that bond formation takes place because it is an exothermic process. And during formation of this particular bond between two hydrogen atoms, the energy released is 436 kilos of per mole. It is energy release, so I can also show it with the negative sign. And the energy which is released during the formation of bonds in one mole of a substance, I have taken an example in which two atoms are discussed, but this is in per mole. Means there will be 6.02 into 10 is per 23 atoms of hydrogen atoms that will be involved. So this is called as the bond energy. Sometimes it is called as the bond association energy. So that energy is released during this formation of bond and this excess energy when it is moved out of the system this makes the system or the atoms stable. And the distance between the hydrogen atoms this distance when they are bonded now this distance between their nuclei in this particular case that is almost 74 picometer. 37.7 or 37 something. It is the radius of a hydrogen atom. So when two hydrogen atoms are combined, their radius are, radii are added and 74 picometer. This distance between the nuclei of the bonded atoms, this distance is called as the bond distance. You may also say it is bond length. Sometimes it is also called as internuclear distance, or you can also say it is compromised distance. It is very easy to understand why it is called as bond distance because the bond is formed, bond length internuclear distance but why it is called as compromised distance it is called as compromised distance because even when these atoms are bonded there are still forces of attraction and forces of repulsion both are present between them and when forces of attraction and forces of repulsion both are present but they still decide to stay together that is actually the compromise so similarly same is the case in our families that when a male and female get married, there are forces of attraction between them, forces of repulsion between them, but they still decide to keep together or to stay together. This is actually compromise. Same compromise is between these two hydrogen atoms. So that's why it is called as compromise distance. But let me tell you one thing very important that if you will try to bring these two hydrogen atoms even closer as compared to 74 picometer distance, now the attractive forces they will be dominated by the repulsive forces now the repulsive forces that will dominate the attractive forces and again the system will move towards instability so the old concept is the octet rule and then in new concept the bond formation is explained on the basis of its energetics